said, I'm locked up, they won't let me out. I'm locked up, they won't let me. Oh, hey, you can help me. Help me get out of here. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Professor Z and help me get out of this prison. I don't like being an inmate. That's right, we were talking about Ada inmates today. I am Professor Z and welcome in to another video. I hope y'all are ready. Let's go. All right, I hope you guys are just as excited to dive into the Ada inmates as I am because I'm really excited about this project. I have a good feeling about it. Um, again, none of this is financial advice, but I also hope you click that subscribe button because I really want to get out of this prison. And the only way for me to do that is if you click that subscribe button. Come on, hit it. And while you're, while you're at it, might as well hit that bell too. So let's go. So I'm going to hit a couple of just like two main things for the Ada inmates today. Uh, one is going to be their... The first thing I want to go over is their website. I feel like it is very well put together. And then we're also going to visit their Discord. I'm going to show you some of the stuff they got going on inside their Discord as well. But first off, let's dive in to the website. So when you go to the website, this is where it brings you right here. And as you can see, you have all these tabs up here. You got home, prison journal, blueprints, parole letter, team, and merch. Yes, they have their own merch already, which is always exciting. People love to represent their favorite projects and people love this project. The first thing I wanna talk about on the website today is the prison journal. Uh, the prison journal is basically their lore and it's really cool, right? So a lot of projects, they release their lore all at one time. Ada inmates, they're, they're doing it like it's a story. Uh, which you want the lore to be. You want the lore to be a story. You want it to be continuously ongoing. Every Sunday, they drop a new piece of this lore. And what's really cool, so this is day one. This is the first one. Now, I'm not going to read through all this for you, but it is a very awesome story, and they have all kinds of exciting things inside the lore to give you kind of a preview as to what they're doing in their project. Uh, one fun thing I found, uh, and I did talk to... Uh, one of the founders, Hansel, about this because I was kind of curious. Um, so you have inmate 0209-2022. Now, as you know, you look at that, that's obviously a date. So I was curious about it. Um, I reached out to Hansel, him and his partner, Space Ace. Uh, the date that they came into agreement to form Ada Inmates was September 2nd, 2022. Now, the dates are inverted here, which, you know, is totally fine. Uh, a lot of places do the inverted dates like that. But what's really cool is they did their main collection mint on February 9th of 23. This project just minted out. Um, I mean, it sold out pretty fast. I was lucky enough I minted two. And yeah, it's pretty incredible. I love them both. And they're moving. This project is moving. But anyways, back to the lore. So they have all kinds of exciting things going on inside the lore. The more you read, the more you find out about the project. And there's hints as to future aspects of what they want to do. So I strongly suggest you take the time to read the lore, learn more about what they are doing, because it is a very enticing story. Um, it covers a guy who is going to prison and basically everything he goes through in prison. I, it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, when we scroll all the way down here, we can see what day they are currently on. So they are currently on day 22, part one. Now, like I said, um, this is every Sunday. They have a new entry into the pr uh, prison journal. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. I strongly suggest you get in there and read it. They also have it on their discord and I'll show you where that's at as well. Now I want to talk about the blueprint. So the blueprint is the outline of the project, everything they've accomplished so far and everything they want to accomplish. It is really cool to see everything they've done so far. And also the, like, the future, like what they want to do in the future. Uh, they have a lot planned. And what I really love about this, so if you look at the background, the background is like, it's an actual like blueprint, right? The blueprint of the prison. And they are doing some very big things. It's gonna be exciting. So, so far, this is everything they've hit. Um, most recently, you know, the Mint, it sold out on February 9th, and then they released uh, the Rarity Info, and they're just now continuing to build the community. 
they have a really, really strong community, uh, a very dedicated community. And I know some heavy hitters that are in this community, and that's always a good sign. Uh, so May of 2023, they want to mint the cells. That's right. There are going to be cells you can get for your prisoners, or your ADA inmates. Uh, they're going to release the commissary, which is going to be their marking, marketplace staking platform for the ADA inmates ecosystem. They're going to release their own token, which is called Smokes. As everybody knows, the more like you watch movies uh, about prison and stuff like that, <laughs> and and smokes are the you know thing that's traded the most cigarettes, right? Uh, one of my favorite um, inmate movies is Shawshank Redemption, and they trade cigarettes in there a lot, right? So that's really cool to see that their token is going to be called Smokes. Uh, staking goes live, and then the summer they want to release the Blueprint version two, release Parole Letter version two. Release real world utility for the smokes. That's exciting. August 9th, they're going to uh, holder reward airdrop. So guards, cellmates, and smokes. Quarter four, they want to mint the women's collection with smokes. So it looks like you're going to be able to mint the women's collection just with the smokes. So that, that's kind of cool. There might be some ADA because, you know, uh, every transaction always has some ADA tied to it. Uh, they're going to update the commissary. Hashtag only time will tell. That is their hashtag. And then even more utility for smokes. And then they are working on building a super max prison island on Cornucopias. Come on now. Like how exciting is that? All right. So now we're going to dive into the parole letter, which is like their, it's their white paper. And they call it a parole letter because that's what every inmate wants. They want that parole letter to get out of prison. The only way I'm getting mine is if you subscribe to my channel. You better subscribe to my channel. Okay. Enough being creepy. All right. So anyway. So who are the ADA inmates? ADA inmates are members of a prison ecosystem on the Cardano blockchain. Plan to take our inmates to a virtual prison ecosystem, creating prisons inside of some of Cardano's biggest metaverse projects. We plan to create virtual cells and further down the line, a super max prison island. That's awesome. This ecosystem will have its own exclusive marketing place, marketplace and staking platform. As we learn, that's going to be called the commissary. The world, real world topics we plan to cover along our journey are all hidden throughout our lore. We also intend to work on some of these subjects in the real world. Can our inmates be re rehabilitated or will they be destined for death row? Only time will tell. Now, what I really like about this is, again, the lore. You need to go in and dive into the lore because they have all kinds of fun things hidden in there. And, you know, they're quick reads. It's not like it's going to take you hours upon hours to read it. Uh, so yeah, go take some time and read that. So the founders are doxxed. I'm going to talk more about the team in the discord because they have basically the whole team and not just the founders. So, and they have kind of these outlines too of the whole team. So we're going to dive into the actual, the team in the discord, not right here. And then the journey. So right here, uh, everything we've touched on already. So they do have something called a death row pass. Uh, so there's only 200. They minted out on December 10th. And they had 196 for the public and only four for the team. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so all mint proceeds will be going towards the development of the project. What will I get for investing in a death row pass? One free mint for main collection, sales, and women's mint. Guard airdrop for long-term service. Holder February 1st to August 1st airdrop. So if you hold a death row pass from February 1st to August 1st, you will get uh, an airdrop for a guard. So, you know, obviously we're past that point right now because at the recording of this video, it is February 19th. But if you bought one beforehand, hold that thing because you got some awesome things coming your way. You get guaranteed to mint, uh, organized or cycle pass sale. Hang your death row pass in your cell to earn smokes. So that's kind of cool. Uh, three whitelists for all future mints. Access to death row club in the ADA inmates prison plus future utility implementations then the eight inmate, inmates it's a 5,000 piece collection you have different gangs and classes so you have the four classes which are habitual white collar organized and psychopaths then you have the gangs you have caucasians african americans hispanics and asians those are the gangs those are the classes so this part here breaks it down by crimes and classes per gang right so the four gangs we talked about right up here then we have the classes 
And then you have the crime. So each class, each gang has four different crimes. So you have for habitual, arsonists, drug addicts, petty th thieves, and assaults, white collar, money, money launderers, embezzle, embezzlers, art thieves, and cyber crimes. Organized, you got drug dealers, bodyguards, contract killers, and gang bosses, psychopaths. <laughs> I love that. You got murderers, serial killers, war criminals, and politicians. There's only five politicians. That's pretty cool. So, what will investing in Ada and Mate's main collection do for me? Owner of an awesome art piece, which they are. I'll show you some sneak peeks. I'll even show you mine. Uh, be part of an amazing community. Again, check that off. It's a great community. Whitelist for the men's cell mints. So, one inmate NFT equals one cell. Access to special holder giveaways, raffles, and auctions. Hold to earn NFTs. Cell cellmates and that earn smokes. And then you get parole and be entered into a raffle to have your NFT burned and a new custom one on one prisoner made by the artist. The criteria is to include five tasks and diamond hands from mint and community activities. Stake inmates for smokes. You must hold a cell. So there's a lot of things they got coming and I'm excited about every single one. Now I'm not going to touch on every single thing in this white paper. Uh, I am just kind of scrolling through showing you kind of all the fun things. So staking, you create a commissary marketplace staking platform for our ADA inmates ecosystem, which they're going to do token and tokenomics is smoke. So we've already touched on that, right? So inside the discord, there is a graphic that kind of breaks this down even more. I'm going to show you that instead of reading through that right here, we have the breakdown of organized crimes. They collect 10% protection taxes from habituals when an item is sold discounts on merch. Chance not to have your four by six posters burned. What are the posters? We're going to go over that a little bit later too. So sit back. I hope you all are ready. Right here. So this talks about the cells, right? So you have 6,000 cells collection. Four different sizes are available. So a habitual allows you to stake two posters, white collar three, organized six, and cycle pass 10. Cell mints come with one free four by six poster. Holding a cell allows you to stake your poster NFT so you can earn smokes. You must own a cell to stake your NFT. So you have to own a cell. Uh, prison cells are ransacked by the warden or other prisoners. Every 30 days, there is a percentage burn of the four by six posters. It is random when it comes to your four by six poster being tossed or confiscated. So the two wardens are obviously the founders. So that's kind of cool. Here we are about the holder airdrops. Um, this is pretty cool. I really, really like this. So there's on August 9th, they're going to do the holder airdrop. So if you hold like we're going to dive into that a little bit more because there's more in their discord, right? There's tons of information with this project. Uh, so you have there's 700,000 smokes total for August 9th, 500,000 smokes. And how many holders are eligible? Hold from February 25th till August 1st. We'll get a share of the 500,000 smokes, 150,000 smokes. How many holders are eligible? Hold from May 1st to August 1st. We'll get a share of that. 50,000 is how many death row pass holders are eligible. Hold If you hold a death row pass from February 1st to August 1st, you'll get a share of that. So imagine if you're holding from August 1st, May 1st, February 25th, you're going to get a nice, nice little chunk here, right? So... Snapshots will be taken to confirm NFTs are not listed or sold. If you list or sell your NFT, you will not get the airdrop. Cellmates, 500,000 total, August 9th. Cellmates are a airdrop to inmate holders who have held from February 25th until August 1st. You will have a chance to get one of four different cellmates. So you have cockroach, mouse, bird, cat. I'm hoping for the cat. I like the cats. I like cats. Cats are cool. The rarer the cellmate, the more smokes you earn. Uh, the cellmates NFT will have its own ID policy and can be sold on secondary. So cellmates do not require a poster to stake. An inmate staked and cell is required to earn smokes. So, I mean, just by holding, you're going to get all kinds of things. We're seeing a lot more of these hold to earn projects coming out because it is an awesome thing. All you do is hold and you earn. I mean, you can't really beat that. Here are the tokenomics. I'm not going to really dive through them. If you want to check them out, go check out the white paper. The cell mints, right? So here are the cell mints here. So you have the creation and sell of 6,000 prisoner cells. Uh, so you want to make sure you get a prisoner cell for each one of your inmates so that you can do all the staking and stuff. All right. So and then we have special airdrops for death row pass holders, long-term service. Death row pass holders, you'll get all this. 
which is pretty cool. And then there's going to be a third mint. Women inmate mint will be five ADA only plus smokes. The amount is still to be determined. There's 3,000 women, 800 whitelists for death row pass holders, 200 whitelists for guards, 75 whitelists for one of ones. All right, so 1,666 max hold any three in inmates, get you one whitelist. So you need to have three inmates to get a whitelist for this mint. When? Keep an eye out on the parole letter, version 2, summer of 2023. Now, these are all the rules. We're going to dive more into the rules in the Discord. And then, of course, the disclaimer. Always do your own research. I love that they add that in there. Always, always, always do your own research. I will always preach that. And then we have the Twitter here. This is their Twitter. Link to the website and Twitter will be down in the description below, so go check that out. My Twitter will be there as well, so please follow me. I'll follow you back. Um, and yeah, right here we have the JPEG store. And as you can see, so the mint for these was only 130 ADA. They're sitting at a current floor of 242. That is really awesome to see. They've already done 1.19 million volume in ADA and currently sitting at 1,050 owners. And only 8.22% is listed. That's impressive. All right, so now we are going to dive in to the Discord, right? There's a lot of cool things in this Discord, so I hope you guys are ready for the ride. Let's go. All right, so first we're gonna start out right here in called Fish Info. This talks about all the different roles you can have. So we got the founders, which are the wardens. We have the captain team members here to help you and to keep the peace while you're in prison. Officers, the team members as well. And then we have bad to the bone well, which holds 50 or more, respected 20 or more. Death row club, you hold a cycle path or one of one or a death row pass. I am very thrilled to be part of that death row club. I minted a cycle path. It's awesome. Then you have death row, which holds a death row pass. Pocket king, you hold five death row passes. That's very impressive. Uh, pocket Princess, handpicked <laughs> from the Death Row Pass holder. Uh, prison Break, you hold a rock hammer, key, old cell phone, rolled up note, and money. Then you have this roll here, which is hold both bra and sissy dress straights. Lifer, you hold 10. Selly, 5. Inmate, 1. Fish, 0. All right, so those are all the rolls they have currently. Oops. And then we have the team. So as I was saying, right here we have the team. So you have Hansel. He is one of the founders. Great, great guy. I've talked to him a little bit. Then you have um, Steve and Marshall, who is goes by Space Ace. He is another one of the founders. Captain O-Line. Sorry if I butchered your, your Discord name there. Then we have Boboka. Uh, he's another officer. Vinny the Chin, another officer there. Uh, Clint, aka Mac Daddy, he's an officer. I've talked to him a lot, he's a great guy. Uh, so when I found out he was actually uh, part of the team of Ada Inmates, I knew it was a solid project right away. So, shout out to you, Mac Daddy. I know we've talked quite a bit. Then we have uh, Redbeard, another cool guy, I haven't really talked to him much. Um, and then we have Jeffrey Fritz, another officer. That there, that is the main team. Now, there are like rookie officers who are um kind of mods and stuff but that what we just went over is the main team awesome people um i've talked to a few of them hey you can tell a good project by the team this is a good team so i have a good feeling again none of this is financial advice always do your own research but i i like this project prison connections is just the links policy id blueprint we already went over the blueprint on the website but it is here on the discord as well Prison papers. Now, this is what I was talking about. This is what I wanted to wait and go over because they have the visuals. The visuals are absolutely incredible. So right here, you have the eight inmates. It's the population by the gang. So when we zoom in, right? So you have the habituals, which is 500. And then it shows you, it breaks it down by the crimes. Then you have the white collar. Again, breaks it down by the crimes. Now, what's really cool is when you look at this, you can see how some of these are bigger than some of the others. That means the smaller one is obviously rarer, right? Then you have organized, right? So cool. Cycle pass. Again, not a lot of projects have stuff like this. And this is just really awesome to see. Absolutely love to see it. And then right here, they have the breakdown too. So if you're ever curious as to which ones might be rare, you have this awesome little visual here to help you. And then what's really cool, so each one of these um, 
crimes for habituals, they create these, and we're gonna go over that in a minute. So it kind of cool, it shows you that too. This is the income opportunities by fingers. <laughs> That's awesome. So the smuggler, you have, it requires a habitual or white collar inmates to generate items and sell them on the commissary. The staker requires inmates sell poster, stake your posters in your cell. The gangster requires organized crime inmate Collect passive income for each cell in the commissary. We're going to show that too because I have that breakdown. The bystander. There are no requirements, but you can buy generated items on the commissary and sell them for a higher price. The psycho requires psychopathic inmates. I got one. And you have access to the death row club. The lifer. One of each type of inmate. Combination of the smuggler, the staker, the mobster, and the psycho. And then the gang leader. One inmate of each crime. Only time will tell what that benefits are, right? So that's cool. Now, right here is the death row pass benefits, right? So if you have a death row pass or you want to buy a death row pass, these are all the benefits. We did talk about them in the white paper as well. But if you wanted to look, you have them all right here too. Rarity. Okay, so this is the rarity chart. I'm not going to go over all of it. But right here, you have the rarity chart. You can go in, check it all out, uh, and see kind of the rarities and kind of help you guide on what you want to buy, right? Got all the traits right there. I'm not going to click on that one. There's a lot, but they're really cool. So again, go check that out. But right here, this is what I wanted to show you guys. All right, so this is really cool how they have this broken down. Okay, so I told you the habituals, they generate those four things on that chart. And this shows you right here too. So, you know, these are what they generate. If you combine them, you go into your posters. We're gonna talk about that. All right, so the white collars, I probably should have asked on this, um, but I didn't. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that each one of these, so these are the percentage of time it takes off from making the poster, right? Because, because the poster does take some time. So I'm guessing that if you hold a white collar, it gives you a 10% decrease uh, if it's a money launderer, embezzler is a 12.5%. Art thief is 15%. Cybercrime, 17.5%. That is what I'm guessing. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but that is what I'm guessing. Now, I did say organized crimes, they get a percentage, right, of things sold on the commissary. So, like right here, it has it broken down of the percentage that each, one's, each one gets in the organized crime. So, that's really cool. Then the rules. Organized crime, collect a percent. When an item is sold, aha, reduce the time to create a poster. I was right. Reduce the, all it takes is a little reading, right? Come on. Duh. Don't call me Professor Z for nothing. I should know that. All gener generated items can be sold for smokes. Psychopathics can only generate the respective poster. We're going to go over that in a second. Every 30 days, there's a percentage burn. Posters are upgradable up to the 2030. So that's cool. Uh, same cost of a 4x6. Burn percentage reduction on 4x6 posters. Cycle pass gain entry into the death row club. Now, what's really cool is you have all these posters here, right? So these are upgradable. So the cycle pass make these posters. So murderer will make 11 by 14 Serial killer, 16 by 20 War criminal, 20 by 24 Politician, 20 by 30 Awesome. That is awesome. And then you can stake them in the cells. Generates smokes. Such an easy breakdown, easy visual. I mean, that's awesome. I absolutely love that they have this stuff inside the Discord for people who are curious. Because like I said, this project, they have so much going on. So the fact that they are helping new people who come in and their community better understand what they're doing, it's so awesome. It doesn't take that much to go in and actually research on this project because it is all right there in the Discord. Then you have the parole letter. Journal entries, like I said, they post them here every time they drop one. Sneak peeks, they were showing some of the, you know, sneak peeks coming up for the main event. Then you can get your roles here, support, inmate roles. So inside the announcements, I just wanted to show you a couple. So they have partnered with G5 Systems. G5 Systems is not very well known yet. Uh, it's something that Blano and Marty are working on. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much about what they're doing. But knowing those two guys, is it's going to be epic. Um, so Ada Inmates has partnered with them to bring in custom bots and stuff into the Discord. They've also hired 
uh, Noma, Noma Tech, Tokenomics, who will stress test uh, and audit their tokenomics. So that would take about three to five weeks, but they're making sure that they are good to go before and which is something you always want to see. They've also partnered with Yipple to provide game, gamified staking platform for the sales mint. So cool. This project's doing so much. All right, so that is the announcement section. Then you have the prison, which, you know, is just all these fun channels here. And then, of course, you have giveaways, raffles, and games. That is the Discord. Like I said, they have so much going on. This project is going to be amazing. This video is going to be so long, and I'm so sorry for that. But, I mean, come on. Like, I'm excited about this project. I'm still learning about this project because there's so much but it's awesome to see because a project that plans stuff out like this is a project that's going to stick around. It's not going to be one of those here one day, gone tomorrow type of things. I absolutely love this project. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. I mean, that's Ada Inmates. Let's send it on over to the outro. Woo! Thank you all so much for sticking around, checking out the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed everything you saw man ada inmates has a lot going on it is a project i am super excited for as always none of this is financial advice always do your own research as they say as well and remember if you are not subscribed subscribe to my channel like share get it all out there i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers once i get there i have a massive giveaway i'm doing so i hope you guys are ready for that so like I said, share it out to your friends. Let's get, hit a thousand subscribers. Help me get there. And as always, make every single day the best day possible. And until next time, I am Professor Z. Peace.